Hi everyone, this is Lady T with Lady T Speaks TV, where we talk about relationships, relationships, relationships. Now, let's get into the last tip on conflict resolution with romantic couples. This is tip number 10. Know when it's time for a time out. If you see yourself falling into a negative pattern and find that either you or your partner are not following the tips above, the ones I gave you in the last nine videos, consider taking a time out from your argument. And I've said that before. Even a short break for a few deep breaths can be enough to calm hot tempers. What the research on conflict shows is that both perspective taking and controlling your anger are key to managing conflicts well. Airing your grievances can be productive for your relationship, but conflicts must be skillfully managed or you run the risk of making them worse. And like I said to you um, in the very beginning, this was an article that I got off of Psychology Today. Gwendolyn Seedman, Dr. Gwendolyn Seedman has a PhD um, as an associate professor of psychology at Albright College. She also studies relationships and cyber psychology. So I just wanted to give you that information because she is the author of the information that I was giving you, but I've added some of the things that I've learned um, about conflict resolution as well that have worked throughout the years with different couples. So if you understand these tips and you want to apply them, look at the videos over and over and go through some things that you still may need help with. By all means, this is for information purposes only. Please do not say that Lady T gave you information that you could not apply or you did apply it and it didn't work. I told you before, you can work on you. You can work on your behavior, you can work on your negative patterns, and you can better them. However, when it comes to your partner, your partner has to do that for themselves. In order to be in a healthy relationship, you have to be respectful, you have to care, and you have to honor and value one another. So that's so very, very important. If you do those things, you'll have a very successful relationship long term. If you don't do those things, guess what? You're not going to stay in a relationship because everybody wants to be valued in a relationship and they want their opinion to matter. And when you're in an argument, oftentimes we forget about those things when we're upset with our partner. So that was relationship number 10. Know when it's time to take a time out. Don't stay trying to get your point across and be exhausted. It's not worth it. When you care about people, you don't want to do that. You know, walk away, take a time out, take a deep breath, take a stand back, you know, and find out what it is that you can do. Sometimes you can make the situation better and sometimes you cannot. But here, those are the 10 tips for you all. I'm Lady T. This is Lady T Speaks TV. I created this channel so that I can help you all navigate through conflict in your relationship. Now that I finished this series, we'll talk about some other things. Again, please don't forget to email me at ladytspeakstv at, at gmail.com. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel, click that like button, and give a comment. I want to know what you're thinking. The email is set up so that you can email me some questions anonymously and I will not speak of your name on the channel. I will keep that between you and I. And guess what? I'll give you some tips that you can use. Again, if you need professional help, if you need counseling, see a counselor, okay? These are just some helpful tips in your relationships that help better enhance your relationships. We want to be satisfied in our relationships. So we have to always be trying to improve and better our relationships as couples. All right, I'll come back and I'll give you single people some tips as well. Stay tuned. Come back and see me. I'll see you when I see you.